Yeah, but you know, he, he reminds you a little bit of Mike, don't he? Does, yeah, a little Mike. You, you look like Mike a so, little bit, man. Back in the day, before I ever got in the flea market business, there's Canton. You know, the huge, wonderful Canton. Huge one. And then there's Iron Mike, a standard at Canton. Yeah. He pulls yeah. into Canton. He's dog tired. He's drove all the way from fucking Iowa, wherever, right? With his load. <laughs> he pulls in. He's dead tired. The whole parking lot is filled. There's not a fucking place. He goes to sleep. Falls asleep at the fucking wheel. Wakes up. And this is Canton unreserved. 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 First come, first served. Right. He wakes up. Holy shit. The parking lot is empty. It's just him. <laughs> Man, shit. He's thinking he drives right on down there. He drives down, makes a corner, and there's his spots. Empty. Uh, fucking respect. That's respect. He's uh, he's in Canton. He's selling these comic books, right? He's got all these people. He's a... See, there's a tree. The tree. There's a tree with a nail in it. So his leather coat, remember? Yep, yep. Had the yep. hole in it. That's right. I'm leaning up against the tree. So he's got all these people. He says, hold on. Just give me a moment. He stops, goes up to the fucking bathroom, takes a shit or whatever, comes back, steps right up against the tree and says, and we are at 45, and we are at 85, and that's right. I'll do it for 100, but you got to take all of them. Yeah, and that's right. Bam, and, and just like that. Never I mean, miss a beat. Hey, he was something, man. The first time I seen him, he had this crazy fucking tent. Here's what happened. He was coming up the hill from me on the Civic Center. Okay. I was on 55, so he's right in front of the Civic Center. We kind of went up like this. He had these tents, and they weren't even like tents as much as tarps and fucking blankets and shit. The people would fall in the one end. It went in like this. It came around like this. It bounced around, and people came out the other end. They were they were falling down. They had their checkbooks out. They had shit. They could do it, man. They were laughing. They they just bought something. They didn't even fucking know. Oh and, yeah, and he, 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 he gonna he, say yeah. He, he could come out there and he'd say, "And I'll give I'll give a free gift to anybody that buys something from one of my neighbors." And that's the way he did. It. Yep. I, I leave my boot, man. When I come back, he'd, he'd, he'd be five, yeah, six hundred dollars. Mike would show up with the prints. He just passed a couple of yeah. years ago. He would show up with these prints. Yeah, he passed about three years ago. And the prints were like, he would get, man, he would get thousands and thousands of dollars worth of junk for the prints. He'd trade, do all this trading. The first time he brought his wife down here, Barbara, and she'd never been to something like this. Mm. And let alone... She probably didn't know that she was with the shark. <laughs> didn't know how good with, he was. Didn't, Iowa, know, didn't, didn't, know didn't, how, didn't know how good he was. Didn't know, underestimated. Next thing you know, he's got all this shit. And all this stuff. Because he's went around, he's trading for prints, he's trading for stuff, and he's got this stuff, he's trading for other stuff. He could show up with a suitcase full of those prints and have the, the, the booth filled and a pocket full of money by the end of the day.